Hello Internet, how are you doing today? My name is Brian, if you are new here, and today we are going to be giving iOS 17 one last hurrah before we all switch over to iOS 18 and completely forget about what iOS 17 even gave us. <laughs> yes, so obviously as you know, previous to my last video, we talked about iOS 18 and all the cool new features that are coming out. Well, I thought we should give iOS 17 one more chance to shine before we completely move on. Let's get into it. Today I'm going to be customizing my iPhone like a pro. I'm going to be showing you guys some really cool customization apps for new widgets, for new lock screens. So if you like a bunch of new customization tools for your iPhone, be sure to hit that button down below and subscribe. Be sure to give me a like to let me know if you guys want to have more of these videos in the future. And yeah, um, my iPhone's looking a little bit bare. She's looking a little bit sad. So let's get into it and customize her. So here's my current iPhone screen. As you can tell, she's looking very default. She's looking very boring. She's looking very bland. We are going to get into it and show you guys some of the cool new ways to customize your phone. So some of these applications I actually did use before in my Use Your iPhone Like a Pro video. So there's gonna be some overlaps. Let's start off with the first application, which is color widgets. I've used color widgets for years now and there's lots of cool new designs so let's get right into it. Here is color widgets. We have one app, one widget right here but we're going to do something a little different this time. So, so I kind of like this one right here so we're going to choose this one. I'm going to edit widget and we're going to change that font because I don't really like that font that much. So we're going to change the font to this font right here and we're going to set widget. So let's get into the home screen, color widgets and at home screen and look at that it is right there so we have our first base widget on home screen now we need to find some other widgets to go along with it so let's go into ice cream because ice cream does have a lot of cool ones as well so we are now into ice cream so we have some dynamic island wall things charging show and wallpapers We've got a bunch of cool ones right here so we're going to scroll through here one i do like to use a lot is this record player widget right here so what's really cool about this record player widget right here is that it actually can next to your Apple Music. So you can actually see the songs you're playing and actually interact with it and change songs. So we can go into here, we can customize the, the font text, we can customize the font and the color. So we're gonna change the font a little bit. So we're gonna save this to the widgets. We have to watch an ad, so we're gonna watch an ad. It's a 30 second ad. Isn't that nice? We're gonna install this one into iScreen and we're gonna put you right here. Then we're gonna choose the current widget. We have our little music player right here on our home screen. This is how we're looking so far. We have two pages so far. We're gonna put one more widget on this home screen it is I like to have the big weather widgets. So I have it scrolling over here, I have the big weather widget. And then I stack these on top of each other. So I have two widgets in a row. So as you can see, I have one widget right here and the second widget right there. Then I'm gonna add another widget right here. And what I like to do is I like to have my reminders widget. Notes. And we're going to have a cover widget over that too, but we're also going to add my calendar. The girls are fighting! Yeah. And again, we're going to go turn off smart rotation. We have some customization on our home screen that is also very practical as well. So I do want to cover these reminder widgets. So now we are going to go into Widgy and we're going to see what Widgy has to offer. Widgy is a new application I haven't used that much that often, but I do want to try it out. So we're going to see what we can see on this app. There's lots on here, so we have to kind of just kind of sort through everything and see many hours later so that took a lot longer than i expected but i actually found something that i like a little bit better than the one that we had on our home screen before i have this good afternoon highlight today view style widget which i'm actually going to import and actually use Okay, so for now it looks like this. I need to change it when we change the actual wallpaper. Trust the process, honestly. Trust the process. But like I said, I have this here, so I'm gonna but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our lovely, lovely favorite app ever, Pinterest, and we're gonna find some cool aesthetically pleasing images that we can actually apply to our home screen. So let's do that right now. So I like this one. This one looks really cool. Ooh. Okay, so now that we have our images, we can go right into our Widget Smith app, and we do have to do some cleanup right now. So we're just going to do one small widget for now. It's a photo one, so please choose a photo. Choose. I like this one. This one looks, looks kind of cool. So we're going to save this one right into here. Add a widget. Small one. Add. And that's how it looks so far. It looks kind of cool. I don't think I like this one, so I think we're going to go into here and we're going to change this out. I think this one will fit a little bit better. 
I think that one fits in a little bit better with our little aesthetic so far. Now I'm actually going to go into our second page and we're going to start some other customization as well. So we're going to go in here and we're going to add some of our important widgets. I want to have my emails right here. So add these and we're going to actually apply a widget on top of this as well a fitness widget right here as well okay so this is how it's looking so far on our second page we need to find a cover widget for this one right here the gmail one is we're going to actually take this widget we're going to edit the stack and we're going to minus this one out Just add that right here and that looks a lot better that's going to be right there and then we're going to have to find a new widget to cover this one up and we're going to have this one be moved as well, I believe. So I think we're gonna actually move. I'm figuring out this as we go along, as you can tell. I'm trying to figure out what looks best where. So I think this Tuesday one may be moved on top. That looks a lot better. So I think this actually works out quite well. Widget Smith, and we need to add a second small widget. It's kind of cool. Small widget two. Okay, there we go. We're getting somewhere, we're, we're getting somewhere now. So now we kind of have our basic setup for our home screen, but now we need to go, of course, go into our lock screen and get that all customized and all set up for us. So I found some new wallpaper contenders. So we're gonna go right into it. We're gonna get started with our lock screen. I'm thinking this one looks kind of cool because it looks kind of like it's like, kind of pixelated but not really so I think we're going to do it like kind of like this. Now we're going to go into of course our widgets. So these are very important we got to figure these out but we're going to do the weather widget then we're going to add our activity widget. We like to see how active we are but then we need to save the other two widgets for our other applications. So we're going to save those ones for now. So now we're going to change our font style. So I'm thinking this font looks kind of cool. We're going to go to customize our home screen. We're going to do this one. So we're going to hit done. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right, that actually fits in quite well. So that looks really good with our setup. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Okay, we finally got our Widgy app set up. Widgy's a mess, honestly. I can't really recommend Widgy. It's just kind of a confusing mess. But here's how it looks. So now we are going to go into those other apps I mentioned. We're gonna look at Lock Widget and we're gonna look at Lock Launcher Ice Screen to look at some widgets we can actually add to our lock screen. So we're gonna go into Lock Widget first and we're gonna see what we can add. So it's really cool is you can actually do an inline one which gives you kind of like the weather the top portion of your uh, lock screen really cute really cool ones for holidays as well creative ones oh the moon one is really cute that's really cool so these are gif ones which are really cool they actually move which i love to do this for holidays it makes it really cute so i think we're going to do one for the moon one looks really cute so let's do this one let's see if i actually had it added <laughs> my moods okay there you go Oh, that's so cute. So I have my moods right there. So let's look into high screen. So let's go into lock screen. Oh, cool. There's little letter ones you can do. Let's do a countdown. So that's quite cool. Let's say countdown to my favorite holiday ever. So let's say that as my widget. And we have to watch, of course, an ad. High screen. There it is. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, cool. So now we have our Halloween countdown on our lock screen. Isn't that so cute? I love how this looks so much. So this is pretty much our whole entire iPhone setup. Here is our lock screen. So we have our lock screen here. We swipe right into it. And then of course we have our home screen with our hidden widgets as well. Very cute. And then we have another hidden widget right here. So that is kind of our home screen setup. But now there was another app I do want to mention to you guys that I haven't really talked that much about. And that is Lock Launcher. So Lock Launcher is a little bit of a different app it's not as much as about customization there is widgets on here as well but they're not that customizable but what's really cool about lock launcher is you can actually have a bunch of applications you can access right from the lock screen we can add a new action into it there's different system applications hot applications pretty easy to set up once you do that but now if i go to my home screen i can have these applications right here and watch i can open up instagram right from my lock screen i can open up the music application right from my lock screen also when you're in the phone if i want to open an application i can just tap this right here and it will bring me right to it it's quite cool to have so that was another application i did want to show you guys is lock launcher all right guys there you have it there is my home screen officially customized for ios 17. thank you guys so much for watching this video so if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to hit that button down below and subscribe and click the notification button to get notifications on whenever i upload 
below next. You can also hit me with a thumbs up as well as give me a comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what are your favorite customization applications they like to use on your iPhone. I hope to be doing more videos like this in the future and I actually I am going to be doing some iOS 18 beta videos in the future. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and I shall see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye!